welcome to Shifting Seasons here tonight with Oil Life. Um, we're so glad that you can join us. We're just going to make a few awesome announcements before we start. The first is that we have free shipping on orders over 50 tonight. Um, that will end tonight at midnight, so make sure you take advantage of that if you're watching. Um, we also have a bunch of products that we're going to be featuring tonight with our speakers um, in the description. So if you click on the description or on the screen, the description will pop up. All those links are right there and you can get free shipping on all those products um, if you purchase over $50. And that is also just in the contiguous US, so um, just a disclaimer on that. We're also doing a bunch of giveaways, so make sure you watch all the way through to the end. Um, we'll be doing giveaways in between each speaker, and, um, and then we're also doing a, a big giveaway. Um, this one is contingent on getting 300 shares of this video, um, though, so make sure that you're sharing it with friends um, and once you shared it, make sure you comment below um, shared. Um, if we do reach 300 um, shares, this is what we'll be giving away. We'll be giving away one of our awesome emoji sticker sheets, an Oil Life sticker book, um, this awesome new essential oil reference guide, essential oil magic, and a six pack of roller bottles. So it's a complete starter set, and that's what we'll be giving away if we reach those 300 shares. So make sure that you're sharing this and tagging people, and then make sure you comment um, below that you shared it so that we know that you are one of those 300 people. Um, and that will go until midnight tonight as well. So um, people can be watching this all night and sharing it, and you will get entered. Um, tonight we're gonna have four guest speakers. Um, you'll wanna stay all the way till the end. Our last speaker is a representat uh, representative from Itobi, so make sure and stick around for that to find out what they have in store for us. Um, and now we wanna welcome our first uh, guest. Um, our first essential, our guest is a, has been an essential oil distributor for four and a half years. Um, and he's been an advocate for essential oil education and training. Um, welcome, Andrew. Thank you so much for having me, Emily. Yeah. Glad to be here. Um, so tonight we're discussing shifts, and I'd like to ask you about um, two different shifts in growing essential oil business. Um, so let's first talk about the shift between being in a sales job versus being in a residual growing business. Sure, and I love this topic. So most of us that are distributors in doTERRA, we started because we, we love the product. We also love the possibility of creating a residual income, having right. long-term financial freedom. And a lot of times people have this struggle where they basically created for themselves a sales job because we've got two sales in doTERRA. You have the enrollment and then the LRP orders. And the LRP orders is where the residual income comes from. If you just enroll but you don't retain, you just made another job for yourself because you only get paid as you make new sales. Right, so you want to get those people who are continually buying, uh -huh. right? Yeah. So how do we do that? How do we get people who are emptying their bottles and want to buy more? How do we create that shift? Okay, so you just said the magic thing. The most crucial thing that we can do from a business standpoint once somebody's enrolled is to help them start emptying their bottles as quickly as possible. So the worst thing is when someone's enrolled in doTERRA and a year later you talk to them and they still have their family physician five mil oils. From the beginning. Yeah, from the beginning. <laughs> and the, the bottles still have oil in them. Like the best thing is where you teach them how to have experiences right off the bat, how to look up their health priorities, start using protocols and things like that so that within the first month or two they have bottles that are half empty. And then they see that and they realize, oh, I'm actually getting benefit from this and it makes sense to continue investing in these kind of products. Awesome. Um, so you talked a lot about um, different aspects there. And I know when we were talking earlier, you talked about making it really fun and easy for them mm -hmm. and giving them kind of a starter kit. What would you suggest as like the top things that you would give to someone who's starting out in essential oils um, to make sure that they are emptying bottles? Well, so we have a lot of educational tools, and especially at Oil Life, there's so many fun things. Yeah. I have my favorites, and what I really suggest is that uh, wherever you are in your business, that for those of, uh, those of the guests that are watching, just find something that you can do really consistently. So this is what I do. I like to give people three different things when they enroll, and it's yeah. super simple, really basic, and really easy to use. So the three things that I give are, one, <clears throat> the stickers. So, of course, their enrollment pack already comes with stickers, but I don't have lots of stickers, and I you think want these, to empty the bottles. <laughs> and I think these are hysterical too. So Oil Life has these emoji stickers that are for blends. So like you know, there's like a queasy person and an angry person for when your spouse forgets your anniversary. Like you can make a blend for that, right? Yeah. 
And uh, anyway, it's just, I want it, it to be- It makes it fun. It makes it fun. If it feels like a game, you're more likely to be engaged. We want oils to feel light and easy. If oils seem complicated or heavy or like really serious, I mean, people don't make time for that. So, so I, I mean, it, it, it even feels like a game when you sit down with your new enrollee and help them put the stickers on. I remember one of my upline, upline, uplines, when she enrolled, uh, her upline, Laura Jacobs, went over to her house and sat down and they actually put the stickers on all her bottles together. And like, it was like a bonding moment for them. So that's my first thing, stickers. The second thing is roller bottles. I always send people a little welcome gift that has like a handwritten note and then a few empty roller bottles. Cause even if they just started with the basic 10 oils, they can still make blends and I right. want them to be being creative. And so they might make a sleep blend or a, you know, anxious feeling blend or whatever it is. And, uh, and so I've given them stickers to label it with, empty bottles. And then the third thing is I give them, this is what we do on our team. We give brand new enrollments this oil magic book. Um, it's super easy to use. Oh, thanks. And it's just, it's just a really good starting reference point. I think of it as like an eighth grade level education guide. And then we have things that we give later on when they're a little more advanced. So did you want me to talk about that? Yeah, right so you can talk about that. You mentioned um, a lady you knew. She would start with a more simple uh, essential oil reference guide, like enrollment, and mm -hmm. then like three or four LRPs in, she would go with a more substantial yeah. reference guide. So yeah, speak a little bit more to that. Well, so in, in our house, we use the Essential Life book for everything. I mean, it's so in depth, like you can find answers for it everything health and oil wise. Um, I found that with my new essential oil users, that's a little bit over a lot of their heads. And you know, unless they already come from a health and wellness background of some sort. So I want them to get to that point, but I kind of look at it as like a milk before meat kind of thing. So this one lady told us that she gives new enrollments oil magic because it's more like eighth grade instead of junior level college. Yeah. And then after they place their third LRP order, then she gives them an essential life book because they've kind of graduated to that level. And I thought that was fun because they they, cool. they learn the basics. Um, like the way that we have them use this, you look up your health priority and it tells you your products that you can use. And then of course there's all the all the products descriptions. And then at the back there's these protocols. So the top 66 health, can I say ailments in this video? I just did. Uh, oh, the top 66 health things have really detailed protocols that tell you like what products to use, exactly how to use them, how many drops and for how long you should do the protocol. So it's just like, like you can be a total dummy with oils and still use this and have fun with it. Right. And then and then I want them to get to the level where like they want to know about oil properties and more in-depth stuff that's in, in the in the textbook. Right. That's awesome. So both are awesome and amazing books. Both have their purposes. Mm -hmm. um, so we want to know in the comments below, this is our first giveaway. We're gonna give it away one of these Yay. books. Um, so let us know in the comments below what your favorite essential oil reference book is. Um, share with us if you like a more basic one or more like the textbook with everything you could ever imagine about oils in it. Um, but thank you so much, Andrew, for coming and talking to us about customer retention and that shift um, between selling a product and selling a lifestyle. Mm -hmm. It's really great. So thank you for joining us. It was Thanks great. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it. So again, just as a reminder, um, we're going to be doing that giveaway. Um, so make sure you're commenting below um, your favorite essential oil reference um, guide um, in the comments. We'll be choosing a winner um, in about five or six minutes about um, from those comments. So make sure you're doing that. I'm tagging people so they can participate as well. Um, and just a reminder about making sure you share the video because there's a big giveaway with that as well. So make sure you're sharing. Um, our next guest is an Instagram influencer and essential oil business builder of two years. And she has successfully established an ever-growing following on social media is, and an unlikely network of collaborators. Welcome, Ashley. Thank you. I'm glad to be here. How are you doing this evening? I'm good. Good. I'm so glad to have you here. Um, so again, we're talking about shifts tonight. Yes. Um, and different seasons in our life. Um, can you tell us when you transitioned from like your day job to a full-time essential oil business builder? Yeah, definitely. So um, I got married and got pregnant and we, um, I ended up going on bed rest and so realized that my kind of like casual sharing of doTERRA either had to stop because I didn't have time for it or I had to do something different and that was to actually build a business. And so um, having a kid basically made me realize that I had to do something different. I wasn't going to be able to go back to work. And so I shifted into building a doTERRA business and so that was, he's just turned two. 
so that was about two years ago. And so that was my big shift where I decided to really do this business seriously. Awesome. And so it was like this idea of like, you know, you're doing one thing that you love mm -hmm. and you kind of had to give it up for something else that... I did because I worked in ophthalmology and I worked with like world-renowned surgeons and it was really hard for me to say goodbye to that. Um, I loved my job and I loved being in the medical profession, but I knew that that wasn't going to serve me as a mom. So it was time for me to do something different. Yeah, for sure. It's a major shift to have to give up something that you love, mm -hmm. um, but knowing that, you know, you're taking a leap and a journey into something yeah. that is also potentially amazing. Absolutely. So once you were all in and mm -hmm. growing quickly, um, what was the next kind of shift that you um, felt? So the big thing for me is when you go, I think from being not somebody that's building a doTERRA business to being a doTERRA business builder, um, I had to realize that it was okay for people to follow me and okay for people to enroll with me and that I was gonna be a doTERRA leader. And so that was just like perfectly fine. And so for me, it was really important for me to get the I Am Fabulous book and get the manifestors blend. And that was where my big shift was because then I went from being like, okay, I'm not sure if people are gonna really wanna do the business with me and really want to enroll and be part of my community to actually um, like realizing that we all have the potential to be leaders and that we can all do this if we really want to. So that was really important. That's awesome. And so that kind of, um, it's okay for people to ask me about oils, right? It's okay. Yeah, yeah, just give yourself permission to be a leader because I think everybody can. You have that potential within you, but you have to unlock it first. Yeah. Can you tell me a little bit um, about your collaboration with other Instagrammers? With my Insta boss ladies. And how, like, yeah, yes. a leader, a group of leaders <laughs> I would doing love something to talk kind about of them. Uh, revolutionary. Really. Yeah. So the cool thing about our collaboration group that I absolutely love is that we are not all on the same team. And actually most of us are not all like on the same team at all. There's a couple of people in the group that are upline. My Diamond Diamond is part of the group, but otherwise we're all cross line or not even cross line at all, just completely separate teams. Um, but we've come together as totally different ranks. There's people that are diamonds. There's people that are just now starting to build their business. And um, we talk about like life and doTERRA business together and Instagram together, which has been key. We all met through Instagram, or created our group through Instagram, and um, it's been just a huge support network to have that. I think so oftentimes we only talk to our upline or we only talk to our downline and we kind of get this little box of information that we receive, and it's so wonderful to have other opportunities from other teams to have that input and just um, like be okay. Like it's totally fine for a doTERRA leader to get advice from somebody who's not in a leadership rank. Like oftentimes you can learn a ton from them. It can so shift your perspective, huge. Right? Yeah, exactly, a shift for us. So awesome, thank you. So um, would you be interested in um, people coming to follow your Instagram page and kind of learn more about yeah, what you do? Yeah, you follow me on Instagram. So, sure. Yeah, so you wanna tell them what yeah, your so handle I'm is? I'm essentially joyful, so it's joyful with oil in there, but it's essentially underscore joyful fun to watch her posts and see what she's doing and see how she's engaging with um, the community out there mm -hmm. and yeah, I educating about oils um, through Instagram. And you probably find her collaborators as well. Yes, <laughs> they comment. So um, yeah, so now that you've um, taken that, you know, that leap of faith and you found empowerment through oils and mm -hmm. through your collaborations on Instagram, um, what season are you in now? Like, how are you feeling? Um, your business is growing exponentially, yeah. kind of talking about. Um, what, is, what does that look like and feel like? So this is an interesting season. So I'm pregnant and getting ready to add number two to my family. Um, but also I have a big team, an international team that I have to take care of. And it's really awesome. Like I don't have any complaints. I love the season that I'm in. Um, we're getting ready to rank advance, just do a lot of really cool stuff. Uh, and I just, um, it's just been really awesome. I can't remember what we were gonna talk about with this one. <laughs> it's okay. Sorry. No, just um, just how you were talking about how, um, you know, you're growing and you can see where you're projected to be ranked in the next two years and kind of making oh, yes. that decision of what is it that I want from mm -hmm. um, being an oil distributor. Oh yeah, that's right. So we were talking about goals and I think it's really important to have different goals. Megan? Oh, just oh, louder. louder. Sorry. So different goals, so plan out like where you want to be in a few years or even a year, those types of things, know where you're going. And then also, I also like the manifestors blend for that because it really helps you kind of project where you're gonna be and be okay with reaching those 
principles. It's awesome. And it's okay to like take that step, that step back and be like, okay, mm -hmm. this is where I am. Where do I want to be? And kind of, you know, you're at that crossroads and decide this is the road I want to go down versus yeah, a different one. Definitely. And just, and make that decision. And be okay with like and the, the changing seasons yeah, of your business. Yeah, embrace sure. that that's where you are. Yeah. Um, so is there anything else that you'd like to add before, before we let you go? Um, I think I would just encourage you, everyone that's listening to, um, you know, be okay with reaching out to people around you. We talked about collaboration groups and we uh, had to be really brave to create our collaboration group because like I said, it's not just mm -hmm. our downline and our upline that were part of it. So if you want to create something like that, especially if you're growing on social media, to um, you know, send some direct messages and be okay with saying, hey, would you be interested in being involved in my collaboration group? But also um, be okay with reaching out into your downline and your upline for support too, because those are gonna be the, your most support that you get. The people that are invested in your business building are the ones that are gonna benefit the most from it. Awesome, thank you so mm -hmm. much for joining us. Yeah, Ashley, your story is really inspiring. I loved hearing thank it. You. I hope you guys loved hearing it. Thanks guys. And learning about your cross collaboration, um, with, like it's exceptionally empowering to know mm -hmm. that that's possible. And so look for those collaboration in, um, moments. Um, but again, thank you so much. Um, well, everyone, if you have questions for Ashley, she, like we mentioned, is a social media guru. So um, if you have questions for her, jump on there. Um, jump on the comments and let Ashley know you have a question. Make sure you put her name in it so she knows it's for her. Um, she'd love to jump on and answer any questions you have about um, Instagram or just jumping into unknown waters and um, doing those kind of um, risky risky uh, endeavors when it comes to collaboration and doing things different than the norm. Um, so we're gonna move, uh, oh, I actually have a giveaway, sorry, another giveaway. So um, let us know what you were most inspired about um, in Ashley's story um, in the comments below. This will be a giveaway for one of our essential living personal care kits, because um, personal care is important. Um, as you're growing these businesses and sometimes you're growing them while you're you know, working a day job and such. So make sure you comment, um, let us know what you found most inspirational about Ashley's story. Um, also a reminder, make sure you're sharing this video. We want to reach 300 so we can do that big giveaway. Um, so we're going to welcome our next guest. Um, our next guest is Quinn. Quinn is an essential oil distributor of nine years, a brand strategist, and the creator of Breakthrough Affirmations and Essential Oil Cards. Welcome, Quinn. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah, Truly. we are so glad to have you here. Aww. I know speaking with you um, prior to this and preparing, like I just fell in love with with your aura and how you um, how you approach life, so thank you. I hope you guys um, enjoy it as much as I did. Um, so you've been growing your team for many years, yeah, um, and you have a large, very diverse team, mm -hmm. um, even global global team. It was amazing. I know they're watching right now. Yay! They're amazing. <laughs> um, but your true love is actually brand strategy. Mm -hmm. So can you tell us how you've you've applied that into the essential oil world? Oh my goodness, there's so many ways we can go question, with that right? question because brand strategy really applies to every aspect of any business. And so I think one of the fun things about it is um, my team are all these budding entrepreneurs and a lot of them have never had experience with business before. Yeah. And so it's been really fun to bring some of these um, you know, cool, simple brand strategies that can help them to leverage their time and energy better, to work smarter instead of harder, and to really be able to um, stand out in the crowd. And so um, my team is very, very diverse of mm -hmm. lots of different backgrounds and experiences. We have musicians and actors and actresses and graphic designers and you know people from all walks of life, not just people that are, are familiar with the health and wellness industry. Right. And so it's been really fun as I've coached and mentored and supported them to help them find their niche and to help them find um, their voice really with how to apply doTERRA in, you know, with what their passion and their genius zone is. Um, and one of those ways that I do that is through a workshop called Soul Brand Camp, which is pretty awesome and fun and coming up Saturday actually yeah, you have for Saturday. anybody but yeah yeah and is that that's an in-person thing or is that broadcast? yeah it's um it's actually live broadcast so it's available to anybody anywhere awesome. all over the world yeah so if you're interested in that comment yeah we might jump on there powerful. and give you the information um so as we were talking before tonight um you shared with me um your passion for emotional healing and how your passion for emotional healing and brand strategy kind of led you to a mantra about um, growing your business joyfully. Yeah. Um, and 
And that kind of led to your, um, the idea for the affirmation cards, which we're going to talk about tonight. Yes. So can you tell me a little bit about how that kind of developed and, and about growing your business joyfully? Yeah. One of my favorite aspects about that um, concept is that joy is magnetic. And so if we're trying to build our businesses through copying what other people are doing or through stressing and like, please make this sale, please buy this kit so that I can put food on the table for my family, which yeah. really could be your situation, right? right. We, like lots of people have very big needs and that's why they're doing doTERRA. I don't think anybody's doing it as a business just for the heck of it. I think lots of us have a big mission or a goal or something that we want to do with that. But if we're doing it from the energy of stress and struggle and, and force and pressure, and even hustle, that's not one of my favorite words, then I think there's like definitely opportune reasons for short seasons of hustle, but not the extreme that we see so often of yeah. just leading to burnout, then it's actually more repelling to people who might wanna work with you or, or buy essential oils from you than it would be if you were to stay in your zone of joy. And so really a friend of mine, Ashley Miller, who co-authored the cards with me, uh, we just kind of put it to the test. We were like, I'm gonna do this in joy. Are you gonna do this in joy? And then we were kind of joy accountability partners with each other for That's a good so year. Fun. Yeah. yeah, and we are just, you know, we'd check in every week. How's your joy? What are you doing to build your business with joy this week? And we found that, um, and I bet those of you watching could agree, that the things that really come into our business, like that big builder or this amazing opportunity, they usually aren't coming always because we did the exact thing that would lead that to happen. It's usually coming because we were in a space where we were open and we were, um, you know, it was, it was just, it aligned for us. It aligned with our energy. And so what, what you find when you grow your business in joy is that you're much more attractive to those ideal circumstances and ideal clients and ideal business partners that you want to be working with because they're like, wait, you're having a lot of fun. What are you doing? Like, yeah. and oh my gosh, you seem so happy. And like, you really love what you do. You love your life. I want to know more instead of, Hey, do you want to join my essential oil business? It's super hard and exhausting. You might not see your kids for a while. Like nobody wants that. Right. Yeah, so totally even if that energy. is your reality, like yeah. to shift that into just, Hey, let's do this with more joy. And let's, um, you know, the phrase I use a lot in business is let's do it more in flow. So, Putting your sights or anchoring to joy really helps you stay in flow and in alignment with your path in doTERRA and thus that helps bring all the other support pieces, the people you're meant to work with to you in a much, I feel like, faster and a stronger way. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful way to live life and, yeah. and to kind of really embrace what's happening and um, we talked a bit about like embracing the season that you're in and, um, yes. you know, because we're talking about shifting seasons and, you know, shifts and, and uh, and being where you are and so um uh, we were talking about there's a affirmation card yeah. that does talk about that so yes. let's talk about this real quick just for a minute so this is um quinn and ashley is that correct? yeah ashley's um affirmation cards how many comes in a set that's a good question i think, I think it's it 20, 22 20, okay so there's Around <laughs> so yeah, twenty two. Oh, know you know your product. Okay, yeah, twenty two. <laughs> we should know a lot this. of good ones. Um, yeah, and again, these are on sale on our website now. If you click on the screen, there's a link. Um, but yeah, so there's twenty two affirmations. But the one that kind of fits with tonight's theme is this yeah. one. You want to? Yeah, talk to absolutely. Us about it? So this one is I grow my business in flow. So with that flow concept we were talking yeah. about, one of the really important aspects that this card on the back it has a little description. That kind of gives you, if, if you pulled this card or you felt really drawn to it, that, that you could read and get to know a little bit of, you know, how to support your breakthrough with this affirmation or this card. Or, and then there's also essential oils that can support you really integrating that. So for this one, it's all about cypress, which is all about movement and making things flow. And then arbor vitae, which is such a beautiful um, dichotomy and parallel to that because arbor vitae is about like standing in your roots and receiving grace and aligning with that. So um, for one of the pieces with growing in flow though, that's so crucial is to really honor and respect your growth seasons in your business. And I see this happen so much, especially in my team. And then of course in my own business where we have a season of spring and we're like so excited. We've got all these new ideas and maybe there's a new product, right? And so we start sharing and we're planting all these seeds and it's so fun and exciting. 
And then we get a season of summer where we're really like tilling the earth and we're making it happen in our business and, and it's getting kind of hot and tiring, but we've got that eye on the prize and then we finally make it to autumn. And in autumn, then we start to see the harvest coming and we're so excited, the fruits of our labors are really coming. And then right after autumn is the season of winter. And so here in the in Utah, where we're at, these we're seasons- We're shifting there now. It's happening, yeah. yeah. And the leaves are literally dying and falling off the trees and we're heading into winter. And so I see so many people that have these big, beautiful dreams and they go through all of those seasons and then winter hits and they freak out. They're so scared that they're doing something wrong, that maybe they weren't cut out to do this, that maybe they were never gonna be a success with doTERRA or their business, right? And that their goal's never gonna happen. When in reality, you're just being called into a season to dig your roots a little deeper, to go within, to refocus, to just like the leaves are falling off the trees, to let go of the things that are not working and to gather new strength for a new season of spring and, and to just stay in that cycle. And as we do that, instead of resisting the season, because um, honestly, the seasons change on us in our businesses at really unexpected times. Yeah. And so, so not quite like the calendar year. Not quite like year, the calendar yeah. year. You could go through all the seasons in one week, even, yeah. you know? <laughs> but like, but it's so important to recognize because um, the more we, the less we resist the season, the more we receive the gifts from it, and then the more we're able to stay and flow and connect with our next season, you know, whatever that might be. And it just makes our business grow so much more peaceful. I know um, my business has been heading into a little bit of winter and you start to get those little bit of nervous signs, but, but man, there's a part of me that's been, since I've been working with the seasons for so long and I've recognized that, that now at this point I'm like, Oh, I'm so glad this winter season is coming. This is gonna feel really good to nurture and to go deeper within and to gather my team around me and warm them and just love on them. And then I know there are big things that are so on the horizon. Amazing things are coming in the spring. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And that we have to have energy for those things to happen. If we don't give ourselves a good winter, we won't have sufficient energy for the big miracles and breakthroughs that are wanting to happen. Awesome. Yeah. I love that connection to the seasons and to the natural alignment of yeah. life. It's so beautiful. Yeah. Um, so you've been doing this for a long while, nine years. Yeah. Um, yeah. So what would you say over the last nine years? I know this like big <laughs> question for you, um, but over the last nine years, like what has been like the most major shift in growing your business? Mm. So there's been a lot. I think it's said quite often that doTERRA is a personal development company described as an essential oils company. <laughs> and so we all, I mean, I'm, I'm sure those of you watching have had many shifts as well. Probably the one that was the most profound is I was, um, for many, many years, I was kind of living in this mindset where I was putting doTERRA absolutely first. And I know even saying this, like I'm saying this so sensitively and just as you're hearing this, even recognize that we all just have different paths with doTERRA, with business, with life. And so I wasn't honoring mine. I was um, pushing and pushing and pushing and trying to make doTERRA happen and hustling like we were talking about earlier. And it was creating a lot of pain. And like I said, um, or actually you said, but the <laughs> my genius zone is in branding and brand strategy. And, and that was coming way down the line and I would even see people on my team or in my world who were struggling in those areas. Instead of helping them, I kept trying to just let me get doTERRA, let me get to diamond, and then I can finally give those gifts. And so one day, this really powerful realization came to me where it was like, if you were back in the day of Michelangelo and he's painting the Sistine Chapel ceiling, would you tell him, hey man, um, this is super cool what you're doing with the Sistine Chapel ceiling, but you need to pause and build doTERRA and get to doTERRA diamond so that then you can finally realize your dream and, and be living in your zone of genius more. It was a huge awakening to me of really like, am I respecting my own genius? Am I respecting the genius on my team by pushing and making and like really saying, focus here first and then live your dream. And so I shifted everything in my life to like, nope, that's out of balance. And so um, now as I've tried to really live in alignment with, um, you know, what are my God-given gifts that I came here to share and came here to make the world a better place? And as I've done so, it's been so beautiful because my business has actually grown more than it would have otherwise. And these kind of like the being in flow concept where it's yeah. like, because I'm where I'm supposed to be and I'm 
sharing doTERRA authentically and from my heart when it's in alignment and really showing up to serve and I am you know honoring my other strengths and gifts as well then you know things are working out and it's and so yes there's many years where I was really pained at the idea that I wasn't a doTERRA diamond yet that I was still a, di a gold but then I had so many people telling me like Quinn do you realize that your income is equivalent to like a beginning diamond mm -hmm. and do you realize that your team size and, and even some months of your income it's close to blue diamond and so it's been such a powerful teacher I love sharing that with people in doTERRA that sometimes we think our dreams don't start coming true or our goals until diamond but absolutely they can be happening all along the way and doTERRA's comp plan yeah. is structured that we can help and support the areas of our team and follow that flow and still be compensated really really generously Really and you're making impact. Absolutely. You're making your impact all along the way, right? Yes. Which is so important. Yeah. Such an empowering way to embrace um, life. Yeah. Um, thank you so much for sharing mm. your journey. Um, I'd like to do a giveaway. Please. Um, yeah. You let me. So we're going <laughs> to give away uh, one of a pack of these cards. So 22 of these cards. And what do you think they should have to do? comment wise mm. they're gonna comment something um, to win these I think they should say like something that's been joyful lately love that, that sound fun so yeah. like what's a joy from today or a joy that you're gonna create tomorrow or something like that awesome so comment below um, yeah. a joy mm -hmm. that you're experiencing or want to experience in the comments below um, for your chance to win a pack of these awesome breakthrough affirmation essential oil cards um, Quinn and Ashley came up with them. Thank you again so much for joining us tonight. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. It's such a joy. Thank you. Uh, so, um, so make sure you're commenting for that giveaway. Um, and also remember to make sure you're sharing this video. Um, make sure you're sharing the video to be entered to win. We're going to go over that real quick one more time. So share this. If we get 300 shares, you'll win um, Essential Oil Magic Book, six pack of roller bottles, not the cards. Um, some emoji stickers, those are upside down. And an oil life sticker book. So make sure that you're sharing this video and also commenting shared in the comments so that we know that you are one of those shares. Um, that closes at midnight tonight, so make sure that you're doing that all night long. Um, and then also make sure you're commenting um, what you're joyful about that uh, giveaway. We'll close for those affirmation cards um, in the middle of our last presenter. So um, we're happy to introduce Hannah for my Toby. Um, she's here to uh, discuss the Toby scanner and how it can shift your essential oil business. So welcome, Hannah. Thank you. Excited to be here. Yeah, we are excited to have you. We always love talking to my Toby. It's so fun. Yeah, I yeah. love sharing it. So I'm excited to give some of this information because it's really cool. Yeah. So that's my first question out there, um, uh, or for you, is that there. There's just like in everyone's life, um, there's probably been a lot of shifts for you this year. Mm -hmm. um, if there's been shifts for you guys this year, comment below, let us know. Because I think everyone has just a crazy mm -hmm. amount of shifts. But one of them was that you started working for Toby. You've been there for about nine, 10 months. Yeah. Uh -huh. So um, can you tell us a little bit about your journey to, with Toby and what you like love working there? Why you love working there? Absolutely, absolutely. So I started working with Toby probably about the middle of March. Um, which was a huge shift for me because I've never worked in an industry that's mainly about technology and then business building comes second. So a learning curve. <laughs> so it was definitely a learning curve, right? And it was a huge just change for me. And so it was interesting to kind of see that side of business building, you know, and really seeing the technical side of things. Um, and I'll kind of go over like what iToby is in a little bit um, for those of you who don't know, but it is really fun to just kind of be in this environment. Itobia is really cool and unique in the fact that we actually, like the whole company itself is just like totally just one unit, you know, and we do a lot of stuff together. I mean, it's just, it's such a cool environment to be in. Everybody, you know, I feel like it's, it really is a family, which is cool. And we like to take care of our customers and we like to make our customers part of our family. They're like part of it. Yeah. Right. And it's so fun because you get to kind of create these connections and these relationships with your customers and kind of bring them into the fold a little bit, which is really fun. That's awesome. It sounds like a very dynamic place to work. Yeah. Like everyone would want to work there. It's really um, fun. 
That's awesome. But can you tell me, so like you said, can you tell me a little bit more about the iTobi scanner itself and how it works? Absolutely. So what iTobi is, it's a, it's a bioimpedance measuring device. So what we've actually done is we are tapping into the autonomic nervous system when you use the device. And so what we're doing is we've taken all of the products from, I mean, really whatever product company you use, we have done Be Young, Young Living, doTERRA, Zija, everything. All of them. <laughs> and we have taken all of those products and measured their electronic um, frequencies. So what we're doing during the scan is it's actually that device is sending those frequencies to your body one at a time and recording your body's response. And so from there, iTobi produces a report based off of your body's response, and it gives you the top 10 products that your body is going to has responded the best to and had the absolute best reaction to. So it's not necessarily something, it's not recommending products that you need. It really is just taking the products that your body kind of gave you the green light to a little bit mm -hmm. and was like, Almost in a way that they'll work. accept them. They're right. responding to them. Right. So that's really cool too and kind of really knowing, kind of tapping into that side of your body. That is fascinating. That's a yeah. lot of science. Yeah, <laughs> yeah right. it's really cool. That's awesome. So can you tell us how, you know, that's a lot of science, mm -hmm. but how do we take that and apply it to growing our essential oil business? It's a really good question, and it's a question that we get a lot. Um, people want to know what the value would be of the iTobi scanner in their businesses. A lot of people who have iTobis actually will host what we call scanning parties. And this is where they actually just invite like a huge group of friends and or, you know, whoever and they have, you know, drinks or whatever and it's just kind of like a little munch and mingle thing and then they'll provide scans for everybody. And what they can do during that scan is really sit down, have an individual talk with somebody, you know, kind of a one-on-one -on -one consultation um, and provide them with this scan and then a lot of people will provide them with like samples of the top one or two things that they scan for so that they can have a personalized experience with those products, right? And so, you know, you can give these products to somebody and say, I know for a fact that these products are going to work for you because this is what your body is telling us that it's going to, you know, that it's accepting, right? So that's super powerful for people when they learn that. Um, the other thing that people really love is that it helps them, again, once people kind of get to know the products more, they tend to enroll, right? Which right. makes them even more money, and it melt, it kind of helps them create, kind of start generating this relationship that then they can build, and kind of bring in these leaders, and kind of you know, take them into their little fold and do whatever they're gonna do, you know, right? Right. Yeah. So if you can take that and make it real for someone, like mm -hmm. first there's a scan, like oh my body is responding to things, and then like, mm -hmm. and then second here's the oils go right. use them, like the people can see like, oh, this is working, right. there's results. Right, and then you can kind of segue into business building and all of that and kind of teaching them and instructing them on that. Yeah. So it's really powerful. That's awesome, those are awesome um, ideas. Um, do you have any examples of essential oil, like an example of a specific essential oil user that has actually used the iTobi scanner to build their business? Yes, absolutely. So we actually have a testimonial from one of our I think she's one of our original users. So we've actually, iTobi has been around for about two years now. And we actually just had our second anniversary um, two weeks ago. Yeah, you guys had a big party. So we did have a really big party. <laughs> it was really fun. Um, there was cake, obviously. But <laughs> um, so this is from Christina Valentine. And she said, iTobi has changed the game for me in so many ways. My essential oil journey has always been an ongoing education process. I learn new things every day for not only myself, but for my clients. iTobi has created a tool that allows me to run a scan on my clients and suggest oils or products based off of their reactions. This is a great tool because it helps me open up a conversation as to why they scanned for items that came up. And with iTobi, I am able to ask probing questions that allow me and my clients to dig deeper into their emotional, physical, and environmental recommendations. iTobi gives me the confidence to select products that actually address my clients' concerns because it takes the guesswork out of finding products that actually work for them. This has created higher retention rate with my clients and they are seeing better results on a more consistent basis. I am forever grateful to the technology that iTobi has developed because it allows wellness advocates to truly help people in a more personal and customized way. 
I think she's a professional writer. I do too. Was I was like, I don't know if I could write that well, yeah. honestly. I'm like, okay. When I read that, well, I was like, wow, this lady. It was lady. poetic. Yeah. Shout but I, I think my favorite part in that was uh, that it truly helps people in a more personal and customized way. And mm -hmm. I think that is the true value of a Toby because it really is, it's reading your personal body, right? Absolutely. And how you're responding to things. And so, mm -hmm. um, yeah, I just love that. Truly helps people in a more personal and customized way. Um, well, Hannah, do you have anything else to share with the audience? I do. We're actually doing a sale with iToby right now, and this is super awesome because normally these sales only happen at special events and um, like conventions or post-convention tour or whatnot. So this is really big for tonight. Oh. Yes, for well, kind <laughs> well, of. Well, it's for tonight. But. Um, but I would highly recommend taking advantage of it tonight because you'll get it faster, right? Yeah. Um, so if you purchase an iToby from now until Sunday night at 11:59 Mountain Standard Time, we're actually doing a discount. So if you tr purchase the Choice Plan, which is the outright purchase plan, you get forty dollars off of that. And if you purchase the basic plan, you're going to get $10 off of that. So essentially, you're just paying that first month subscription with that. And then there's also free shipping on top of that. So it's basically like you're getting it at convention because that's so Christmas early. It's Christmas early, <laughs> honestly. It's like an early Black Friday, like oil life happiness moment, right? Um, so we're going to go ahead and ex we're, we've, well, okay. So I'm not gonna lie, we actually had it ending tonight at midnight and we were like, oh, that's kind of lame. So it really so was tonight only. It really but. was, <laughs> but we extended it. So the code for that is just OL17. So that's the letter O, the letter L, and then one seven. Um, put that in at checkout, it should apply, um, and you're set to go. Um, really quickly though, before, because I know we were talking about business and whatnot, we do offer, for iToby, we offer business training. Um, there are a couple of things you can do with that. You can have a one-on-one -on -one consultation with customer support when you actually purchase your device so that you can kind of learn how nice. to set it up and really get to know your device and make sure you know how it works because when you know how something works, it makes it 10 times more valuable. Yes. And then you can also pr schedule a private webinar which allows us to teach you more about building the business using iToby. It allows us to help introduce iToby to your whole team at once and they can ask live questions during it. So that's a really cool tool that we've used to kind of help people get referrals and help other people learn about iToby. So if you're interested in either of those, contact support at itoby.com and we'll be more than happy to help you. That's great. That's an awesome shift and yeah. addition to your awesome uh, technology. So yeah. thank you for thank doing you. that for all of the, those Absolutely. wonderful people out there who are using the iToby scanner. So if you don't have one yet, again, that promo code is ol one seven and that's through Sunday Sunday night at, at eleven fifty nine okay. Mountain Standard Time. Yeah, so make sure you're taking care of that. Thank you so much, Hannah, for coming and sharing all this with us. Absolutely. And Thank you so much for journey. inviting me. Yeah. So um so um just make sure guys um that you are sharing this video. We will be doing a giveaway. Um if we reach three hundred shares um before tonight at midnight, so eleven fifty nine Mountain Standard Time. Again, just a reminder real quick, um, this essential oil reference guide, Oil Magic, um, some emoji stickers, which we love here at Oil Life, the Oil Life sticker book, and a six pack of roller bottles. So make sure you're sharing it. Comment, share, in, uh, yeah, comment, share in the comments. Um, just a couple other reminders. There is free shipping tonight on orders over 50 in, um, for the contiguous US. Um, so make sure that you do hop online um, and make those purchases before midnight tonight. Um, if you go to the description, all the products that we feature tonight will be in the description. We'll throw up the iToby code as well with a link to iToby. Um, that's not there right now, but we'll do that shortly after we've ended. Um, and we just wanna thank you for joining us, um, for sharing with us tonight in your comments about your shifts. Um, and your seasons of life. And we wanna thank our presenter, our guests tonight, um, Andrew, Ashley, Quinn, and Hannah for coming and talking to us about shifts in their essential oil businesses and um, how, we can, how we can cause shifts and um, kind of embrace the seasons of growing a business. So we thank you all for joining us. Uh, make sure you join us uh, Tuesdays and Fridays. We're here live every Tuesday and Friday, so make sure you join us and we'll see you guys later.